You understand this. When a student moves into a college dorm, it's usually a blank canvas with an emphasis on the blank. So today we're going to show you how to liven things up with some easy DIY techniques that make inexpensive items look really glamorous. Deneen Glidwell is here from Dreaming in Color in Murfreesboro. Great to have you with us. It's a pleasure to be here. So you created some really fun things out of very inexpensive items that you got at where? Old Time Old Pottery? Old Time Pottery. Yeah. Um, I On went, sale. Yeah, I went to their bargain blast section and uh, found some inexpensive items. And I wanted to go ahead and do something different. And I have a blog. Mm -hmm. And I also have a store, Dreaming in Color. Right. So I wanted to do something to, for the for the school. Sure. You know, for yeah. dorm, so. Okay, so down here in front, we've got uh, the way that you have transformed a really inexpensive, but, you know, perfect for a college dorm room carpet. And then you've got these uh, pillows as well. Yes. Um, I transformed it using tape and chalk-based paint. Mm -hmm. uh, I have country chic chalk-based paint that I carry at my store. And it was just really easy, um, you know, using the old-time pottery carpet that was cheap enough. And then the paint to go over it, it took about, oh, I, I would say a good 20 seconds to do. Oh, gosh. <laughs> That's wonderful. Well, and there's a secret to it, too. We're going to work on the rug first. You brought along just a little piece of, of carpet uh, so we can demonstrate on it. I've never heard of chevron-shaped uh, tape. But they've it's got wonderful. this. It's frog tape. This tape is wonderful. Frog tape carries all different shape tapes, mm -hmm. and uh, you can just rip it. And you can lay it down. So you don't uh, you have to measure it. and mark well, the chevron I, I mean, anymore. If you want to measure to find out where your placement is, that's mm -hmm. fine. But um, there is an actual coating on the back of the tape. So as you're um, laying it on your walls or on your furniture or on your rug, or on like the this. rug. The coating will go ahead and seal. You could just add a little bit of water to it on the edges, mm -hmm. so it, that coating, you know, grabs a little bit more. So you don't have it bleeding in, right? Yes. Okay. And you know, if it does, it's okay. Right. You know, you, you're just you're having fun with it. You're going to want to make sure your triangles, the points, mm -hmm. you know, um, just line, line up. up. Edges. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'll let you do that. Okay. And you can tape that one down. This is really simple, and you can use this on furniture as you've done with this piece right yes. here. Uh, furniture, and what's great about the paint is because it's chalk based, there's no prep for furniture. So yeah, you can paint right onto nice. it, you don't have to sand. And the same thing with this kind of stuff, it, it just goes right on. That's great. So we're going to make kind of a wide little swath here. Yep. And then, you know, that's where you're going to add your paint. Okay. I actually have this is a a chalk-based paint that's uh, in my line of paint. And this is called Dreaming in Color, which is actually a signature paint. Oh, nice. Um, that we have. So and you it's use a, that on a lot of things. Yeah, I, lo I love this color. Okay. Oh, I get to paint? It's, yes. Cool. All right, so we're just brushing it on. Yeah, and what, what you'd want to do is the nap is, is hard to get it down in. Okay. So you want to load up your brush a little bit more. Okay. And what you're going to do is you're going to make it thick in the center. Oh, okay. And then you'll just kind of fan it out to the sides. Yeah, so it doesn't have to yeah, be a super Yeah, because you don't want to like load it up near the tape because you don't want it to bleed right. through. Well, while we're working on this, I'd love for us to look at those pillows that you did down there too. You just did a simple stencil technique on really affordable pillows. Yes, it, the, the best thing is you, all you have to do is get your computer printer and print out a font that you like, print it out the size that you want it, and then just cut the letters out. I mean, you don't have to go buy a whole bunch of stencils and and you just tape it or, you know, you can get some adhesive uh, to put on it mm -hmm. to make sure it stays as you're painting and, and you just brush it. Check nice it and out. easy. So you put more stripes on and uh, that's just such an easy process. Yes, and, Thanks and, so much and for showing tape, it to us. Even the straight one. I work. really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. All right, you can find Deneen's art and all of her wonderful things at her shop. It's called Dreaming in Color. It's located just off the square in Murfreesboro. You'll also find more DIY projects on her blog. It's online, dreaming-in-color.com. Thanks so much. Thank this is fun.